Mathlib. Mabuhay. What are quadratic equations? How are pure quadratic equations solved? This lesson is about solving pure quadratic equations. The equation ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero is a quadratic equation in one variable x. Where a, b, and c are real numbers with a not equal to zero. Hindi maituturing na quadratic equation o second degree equation ito kung zero ang value ng a. This form of a quadratic equation is said to be in standard form because all the non-zero terms are on the left side of the equation and the powers of the variable are in decreasing order. There are two classifications of quadratic equations based on the value of b. The equation ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero is a complete quadratic equation if b is not equal to zero. The quadratic equations x squared plus 2x plus 3 is equal to zero and 4x squared minus x plus 7 is equal to zero are examples of complete quadratics. The equation ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero is an incomplete or pure quadratics if b is equal to zero. The quadratic equations x squared minus nine is equal to zero and three x squared plus nine is equal to zero are examples of complete quadratics. In this lesson, we will focus on solving pure quadratic equations. What is meant by solving an equation? To solve an equation means to find all the values of the variable involved that can satisfy that equation. Consider the pure quadratic equation x squared minus 9 is equal to 0. If we add 9 to both sides of the equation, the result is x squared is equal to 9. Can you think of a real number when squared gives the answer 9? If you say 3, you are correct because 3 squared or 3 times 3 is 9. But 3 is not the only real number that can give you 9 when squared. The real number negative 3 can also be a solution to the equation x squared is equal to 9. Because negative 3 squared or negative 3 times negative 3 is also 9. That means there are two solutions to the quadratic equation x squared minus 9 is equal to 0. They are 3 or negative 3. We can check the veracity of the answers 3 and negative 3 by substituting them one at a time to the original equation. Observe how this is done. For both 3 and negative 3, the process of checking yields two true statements. Hence, 3 and negative 3 are the roots of the pure quadratics x squared minus 9 is equal to 0. Kung napansin niyo, may dalawang roots ang ating pure quadratics. Ang pagkakaroon ng dalawang roots ay totoo hindi lamang sa pure quadratics kung hindi sa lahat ng quadratic equations. When we solved x squared minus 9 is equal to 0, we actually applied the square root property. The property states that if x squared is equal to n, then x is equal to square root of n or 
x is equal to negative square root of n. Note that x is equal to square root of n or x is equal to negative square root of n can be written as x is equal to plus or minus square root of n. The square root property involves taking the square root of both sides of a pure quadratic equation after the second degree term has been divided by its numerical coefficient and the constant term isolated. Let's apply the square root property in solving the equation x squared minus 36 is equal to 0. First, isolate the constant term negative 36 by adding 36 to both sides. This gives us x squared is equal to 36. Now, we apply the square root property. That is, we take the square root of both sides. The result is x is equal to plus or minus the square root of 36. Then, extract the square root of both sides. And there you go, x is equal to 6 or x is equal to negative 6. Iiwan ko sa inyo ang pag-check ng answer. Okay? Here is another example. Solve the equation x squared minus 7 is equal to 0. Let's do the shortcut. Transpose 7. Don't forget to change the sign so that x squared is equal to 7. Then apply directly the square root property by getting the square root of each side. Since 7 is not a perfect square, we leave our final answer as x is equal to square root of 7 or x is equal to negative square root of 7. Let's level up. Here is another example. Solve the equation x squared minus 12 is equal to 0. Take the shortcut. Let's transpose negative 12 on the other side of the equation. Change the sign so that x squared is equal to 12. Then apply directly the square root property. Pay attention to the radicand 12. It is not a perfect square. But 4, one of its factors, is a perfect square. Applying the product rule involving square root brings us to our final answer x is equal to 2 square root of 3 or x is equal to negative 2 square root of 3. Here is a more complicated example. Solve the equation 3x squared plus 2 is equal to 29. First, we isolate the constant terms from the second degree term by subtracting 2 from both sides. This will result to 3x squared is equal to 27. Note that the numerical coefficient of the second degree term is not 1. To make the coefficient 1, let's divide both sides by 3. This will result to x squared is equal to 9. We now apply the square root property. Extracting the square root of both sides of this equation gives x is equal to plus or minus the square root of 9. Therefore, the roots of the equation 3x squared plus 2 equals 29 are 3 and negative 3. For our final example, let's solve the equation 2 quantity x minus 2 close quantity squared is equal to 98. First, we divide mentally both sides of the equation by 2. Next, we apply the square root property. Take the square root of both sides. And that gives us x minus 2 is equal to plus or minus 7, which is the same as x is equal to 2 plus 7, or x is equal to 2 minus 7. 
Finally, we have x is equal to 9 or x is equal to negative 5. Now, try this. Solve the equation x squared minus 144 is equal to 0. I encourage you to do mental math. The answers are x is equal to 12 or x is equal to negative 12. Solve the equation x squared minus 72 is equal to 0. Remember, always think of the greatest perfect square that a number has. The number 72 can be factored using the perfect square 4 or 36. But 36 is greater. Hence, x is equal to 6 square root of 2 or x is equal to negative 6 square root of 2. For more matitinic tips, just click math click and please don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell for our next video lesson see ya